Good day, life science students. Welcome to video lecture, episode seven. Today, we're hoping to finish uh, chapter four by concluding the rest of section three. So yesterday, we finished on slide 96, which just gave an overall graphic um, gridding of the three types of symbiosis, mutualism, commensalism, parasitism. Now we move to slide 97. On slide 97, we're gonna talk about a niche. Okay, now one habitat might contain hundreds or even thousands of species. Now you might think that competition for resources would make it impossible for so many species to live in that same habitat. However, each species has different requirements for survival. Now let's look on the next slide to continue this. Let's define what a niche is. Well, a niche is an organism's role in its environment, how it obtains food, shelter, finds a mate, cares for its young, and avoids danger. Here, let's give an example. This rotting log, as you see this image in slide 98. It can be home to many species of insects, including termites that eat the decaying wood and ants that feed on the termites. Other species that live on or under the rotting log may include millipedes, centipedes, spiders, and worms. Now let's talk about something in connection within the environment, and that's the predator and prey relationship. We start this on slide 99. Well, a predator by definition is an animal that naturally preys on others. A prey, on the other hand, is an animal that is hunted and killed by another for food. The prey are organisms captured by the predators. An organism's niche includes how it avoids being eaten, and predators limit the size of prey. Now, as a result, food and other resources are less likely to become scarce, and there's a balance maintained. Now we look on slides 100 and 101, we just see some pictures representing prey and predator. Uh, one is uh, more of a, a realistic eco ecological photo that was taken where 101's just got some, uh, it's cartoon-esque, but it's illustrating still the prey and predator relationship. Now let's move into slide 102, and let's talk about a term called cooperation. Cooperation is where individual organisms often cooperate in ways that improve survival. These cooperative actions improve the survival and are part of the species niche, in other words, its role within the environment. Let's talk about some examples. A white-tailed deer detects the presence of wolves or coyotes and informs other deers in the herd. Insects, like ants and honeybees, live in nests and perform different jobs for the survival of the entire nest. Soldier ants protect the workers who go and gather food. Worker ants care for the ant larvae that hatch from eggs laid by the queen. So there are some examples of cooperation that is in connection with also survival and the reality of the species having a particular niche. On slide 103 and following, I just have some images. Slide 103 is a white-tailed deer and its uh, populations it's part of. Uh, slide 104 has a picture of some honeybees, the difference between a worker, drone, and a queen. Uh, slide 105 shows ants working together in various ways. And then, of course, slide 106 is the end of the section, just some humorous pictures uh, in connection with some snow snowmen. And then slide 107, 108, 109, and 110 originally were videos, YouTube videos, so I may try to find those YouTube videos and post those. Uh, they're not necessarily necessary and needed, but I'll see if I can find them. Have a nice day, and I do hope this lecture has been helpful. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down in the comments below, and I look forward to seeing you in the next lecture. Take care. Goodbye.